Okay, how is it going YouTube farmers? I haven't made a video for a while. Um, I've taken some inspiration from the Angling Globetrotters channel today. He made some nice uh, little sunfish floats, not like these, these are mullet floats, but um, yeah, he gave me inspiration to make some floats today and I'll head out and try and catch some of the mullet that I saw this morning. So anyway, anyways, basically it's a broomstick. You cut about uh, eight centimeters off. And the good thing about this uh, rig, all you do, you just tie your main line straight to the float. Okay, so I made the, these. They take about a minute or two to make, and I actually came up with a new idea. Um, hence. Um, making the video to hopefully you know someone else might enjoy doing it okay usually people um drill the hole in the end or yeah, either do a little pilot hole in the end um and you buy the little screw eyelets but i didn't have any screw eyelets so i thought why not i'll just use the uh, fish hook i've got thousands of these lying around so uh where i like um what I've done today is I've got the epoxy resin out, the two-part uh, glue, and I was expecting to have to glue these guys in. But what I've done, I used uh, the smallest drill bit I had was a 1.5 millimeter, and basically, yeah, just drilled the hole in the end. I was yeah expecting to have to glue the, uh, the hooks in, but I came up with an idea: is to just get my side cutters over here and instead of cutting I'll put it up in the frame where are we instead of cutting the hook off on the straight cut it off a bit around the bend so you end up with that and basically you just pop that in the hole and then tap it down with a, a hammer or in this case I'm using the side cutters and basically that's a spring loaded fit there we go done that is not coming out I've got that one tied to there and you know that is not coming out at all um, so what you do, you get you tie your main line straight from your rod, straight to the float, and then all you do is tie dropper loops. There's a million videos on YouTube how to tie a dropper loop. Um, add your small hook. In this case, fishing for mullet, we'll be using bread. So that's a size six octopus hook. Awesome little hook. Um, some people do uh, the fancy dropper loop. Myself, I just prefer to go make it about the size you want it. Actually, I better spread it apart so it doesn't catch on the other one. Get into frame. I pinch it. And all you're doing is double granny. So you just go around once, through, twice through, and pull that down. Make it nice. There you go. There's a drop of loop. Good to go. You just thread your hook on there. That's not the right hook for this job, but anyways, it's right in front of me. You just bung that through there. Through there. Pull. There you go. So that's what your rig looks like. You cast. You don't need any sinkers. The weight is in that bit of wood. That'd weigh 20 grams or 15 grams, something like that. So you can cast that a mile. Um, you got your first loop. Your second loop, and the idea is to cast it out and not uh, like wind the slack out of your line. So you've got the connection between the hook to your rod tip. The float is just to keep your line off the bottom as long as you keep the slack out of the line. And anyway, so it's pretty straightforward after that. Um, hopefully, that helps someone. Um, it is a great idea to paint these white. I'm about to do that shortly, but. Um, you could leave them blank, but I think the white just makes them easier to see. You know, you could paint a fluoro yellow if you wanted to, but there's no rules. But 
Anyways, hopefully that helps someone fishing. Um, I'll put a link to uh, old mate the Angling Globe Trotters uh, video in the comments if you want to check that out. You know he does some good stuff there too. All right, uh, thanks for watching and happy fishing. Cheers.